So we're out here today uh, playing with the M100, kind of practicing up for our weekend event. Kind of looking at what we want to do with weights. We've been very unsuccessful to grab what we did with the uh, Cat 982 and the October event. Wanted to put the bucket on it and put some of the counterweights you see hanging off the back of this 1075 right now to get it up to that 100,000 pounds. But we started with just picking up uh, Anthony's uh, W900 with the 1075 weighing right at 78,000 pounds. Uh, picked it up, went around the corner, no problem. So we end up putting another 10,500 pounds, which you see right here, working around the corner. Um, you know, so we want to try to get to that 100,000 pound range, just kind of looking at it uh, as we're doing it, playing with what we have. I think the uh, impact of showing lifting a wrecker of this capacity and size is, is pretty impressive. And, throwing the counterweights in it because we got a lot of length here you know it's not like a coil where your weights compact it's spread out and this truck is just virtually glued to the ground I think Kip's showing some pictures of the outriggers staying on there to the ground now the nice part about this is we can get to wet point of being around the side and we can travel with this kind of weight you know that's looking at this 88,500 pounds in walking at some 110 inches on the rollers that this machine travels on. So very impressive on that. Very stable, slow, you know, trying to full control. Remember that Mike's working with that new 3100. Let's come up here and take a little look as we're walking. Now always right here at the worst side, you can see right here at the corner of the uh, outrigger leg, Got a little bit of swing going. We can slow that down if we wanted to by touching, touching it on the ground to get rid of that little bit of swing. But you can see right here, outriggers are well planted. Now, remember, if you owned a 1150 dual H beam or if you owned a 1075 dual H, the spread of your outriggers is 262 inches. The spread of these outriggers is 300 inches. And that means we're some 20 odd inches further out. And you can see that if we wanted to load this 88,000, 89,000 pounds onto a flatbed, low boy, heavy haul for whatever we were doing, we have no problems with doing that. We don't have to worry about sticking that outrigger underneath that flatbed to be able to do it. Very impressive on that part. I'm gonna sit there and match it up right here now that we're matched up with this outrigger, let me go over here. I want to tell Mike to walk with it. Mike, can you travel forward? All right, baby. Now, if we come on back up in here and kind of watch. But you can see right here that she's traveling with this 88,500 pounds. And if we wanted to stop, slow down, and reverse that and go back the opposite way, we could do that without any problems because we are not on wear pads. There is virtually no lubrication that's required on the M100, similar to what we do with our older units and competitors' units. It's working on those Hallmark rollers, all eight. But we want to try to get a little bit more. So we wanted to show you this 1075, but I think we're going to go after a little bit more weight and lift up another record with uh, another unit and try to get to that 100,000 pound range. Let's see where we end up with our video. Look forward to seeing you guys. This video is for product demonstration purposes only and is not intended for training or instructional purposes. Situations vary and operators should rely on their own professional knowledge and safety procedures when conducting actual recoveries.